Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Ava and this is my show. So today we're learning about how to operate a boom pole and a boom mic and how to do it well. So let's just dive right in. So everything that you're going to need in order to operate a boom microphone is a boom microphone, a dead cat for when you're shooting outside, a boom pole, an XLR cable, a sound mixer, headphones, an SD card, and usually five or so AA batteries. And then here's how you're going to set it up. So right now, I have my headphones connected to my sound mixer, which I use a Zoom H6. This cord up here is the XLR cable, and it runs all the way from the sound mixer to the boom pole instead of into the microphone itself. And then my boom microphone connects to the boom pole. So if your XLR cable doesn't connect straight to the boom pole and you do put the XLR cable into your microphone directly, then what you're going to want to do after connecting your microphone and your XLR cable is you're going to want to wrap your XLR cable around your boom pole so that those cords aren't everywhere and getting in your way and you know being a tripping hazard. As to how to hold the boom pole, there's three different positions that we're going to cover today. There's H position, shoulder rest, and underhead. So when you're doing H position, you're going to be holding the boom pole straight above your head with both of your hands. It's going to be creating the sides of an H with both of your arms because they're going to be parallel and straight up. This is going to be a pretty tiring method because you're holding something heavy above your head for long periods of time. So that's where the other positions come in. Shoulder rest is where you're holding it with both of your hands, but you're resting the boom pole on the back of your shoulders and so that it takes some of the weight off of your arms and you're able to hold it for longer periods of time. The underhead is used only when, you know, there's direct sunlight and holding a boom pole above the head isn't really an option. It would create a shadow, it would be in the shot, and so underhead is where you hold it under your head and underneath the actor's head and flip it so that the mic isn't pointing down, but pointing up towards your actor's mouth. This way would make sure for production's sake that it would be the most optimal position. As for when you're not shooting, there's vertical rest where you're holding the boom pole right beside you and it's pointing up and so that it doesn't take up as much space around set and you're not getting in everybody's way. As for how to get the best sound, you're always going to want to point the boom microphone straight at the person's lips that you're trying to get audio for. Imagine that the tip of your boom pole is an arrow or a laser and you want that laser to land straight on that person's lips because if it's pointing somewhere else, then it's going to be picking up a different audio than what you want. So now that we know how to get the best audio from our boom microphone, let's talk about how we can make it even better with our sound mixer. So our sound mixer does a few things. It controls the sensitivity of our microphone. It controls what we are recording and then when to record, start and stop. So right now, my microphone is plugged into the top left um, channel because of my XLR cable being in channel one. So I'm only going to be using this top knob right here in order to control my sensitivity. So now to know how sensitive the microphone has to be, we're going to look at the chart at the bottom of the sound mixer. It's going to tell us where it's ranging in decibels, which decibels doesn't really matter. It just means that it has to be in the sweet spot, which is negative 12 to negative six. We're going to mess with the sensitivity until it is in that range. And then once it's in that range, we're going to let it be. We're not going to touch this little knob. We're just going to let it be. As for to make sure that we're recording the right channel, there's left, right, one, two, three, four on this sound recorder. It can be different for other ones, but because I'm in channel one, I tell it to be recording channel one by pressing channel one and having the red light on it. As for the red button, red button just means record. So you press it whenever you want to start and stop recording. So now that we know how to work a boom microphone and all of its intricacies, let's just cover a little bit of set etiquette before we're all done. So when you're on set, the director is going to be yelling a whole bunch of stuff at you, at everybody else, and it's gonna be a lot of yelling, you know? And I'm gonna to try to help you translate all of the lingo that they're going to be saying. So quiet on set, that means shut up. 
pictures up or lock it down or all of those different terms, that means, hey guys, we're about to shoot something, get ready. And then he's going to start yelling at the cameraman or cinematographer and saying, roll camera and then the camera guy is gonna be like rolling, but if you wanna cover more of that, go ahead to this video and you'll be able to see that. And then he's going to start yelling at you. He's going to say, sound speed. And then that means for you that you want to press the red button and start recording. After you press the red button and only afterwards, will you say back to him, speeding. And then he's gonna say action and you're going to do, you're gonna keep it rolling until he says cut, where you're going to press the red button and that will end your take. As for everything else, just make sure that your microphone is staying out of shot because that really is one of the quickest ways to get the director mad at you. That should be all that we need to cover. I hope this was helpful and that you have fun on set. So peace.